Hey what is up fam welcome back to our channel and in this video we are going to take a deep dive into the strength mechanics of the game. But before that kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to be notified of new content tickle that notification bell down below. That would be a really immense help to us guys and the best part is it is absolutely free. So in this video guys we are going to take a look at what strength is, what it affects and what it doesn't. Compute damage boost per strength gained, side by side comparison of 3 strength levels in terms of combat and cutting down trees, actual game application or effect, and conclusion on what the ideal or optimum strength is. And we are gonna do all that in 5 minutes so I don't waste your time, time which you could instead spend finding the little boy with the unfortunate haircut. Now strength in this game, just like in any RPGs, affects your damage with melee weapons. Simply put, the higher your strength is, the bigger the damage you deal with your melee weapons. So since strength only affects melee weapon damage, it goes without saying that it does not have any effect on damage output of throwables such as your dynamite and your bombs and on your ranged weapons such as your modern bow, your flintlock pistol and your throwing spear. Nor does strength have any effect on your blocking ability. Additionally, be sure to maintain a weight between 200 to 209. Below the range lowers your damage output and anything above that reduces your stamina and can affect the progress of your athleticism and strength gain. Now the damage increase per strength gain is computed as follows. Strength multiplied by 100 divided by 140 equals damage increase. So for 20% strength for instance, which is the amount we get by the way at the start of the game, applying the formula above, we get a damage increase of 14.285% and at 70 strength, we get 50% additional damage with our melee weapons. And at the max strength of 99, we get a whopping 70.714 melee damage increase. Now those are some pretty impressive numbers indeed. But how do these figures translate in actual use? In order to find out, I tested these three different strength levels using the katana against your ordinary male cannibals. With a base strength of 20, I can kill the male cannibals with 15 katana slashes. With 70 strength, I am able to kill the cannibals with 11 strikes with the katana. So that is 4 lesser strikes to kill the cannibal. So far, that is pretty promising. Logic would tell you that 99 strength should be able to further narrow down these numbers to 8 or 9 strikes. Now if you thought that, you would be wrong because at 99 strength, it only deducts 1 strike from 70 strength. Now that is not much incentive for reaching max strength. Now you could retort that it will all still be worth it to reach 99 strength because you can probably fell down more trees much faster with it, thereby speeding up the construction process. To which you would be dead wrong again, since strength does absolutely nothing to speed up the tree cutting process. At both 20 and 99 strength, we still need 10 strike with our modern axe to fell down a tree. And I tested this several times at different locations in the island. Now this is indeed pretty surprising and discouraging since if it is a bug, I don't think the devs have any plans of fixing it anytime soon. I am pretty sure that they are focusing all of their energy and resources for the sequel which is slated for release later this year. So in conclusion guys, with strength, there is much to gain in increasing it from 20 to 70 in terms of combat and very few incentive from leveling it from that point onwards. And considering how hard it is to raise this attribute with a cap of 2 strength per day and the fact that it does absolutely nothing to speed up the gathering of logs, it is just a ginormous waste of time to try and max it out. So that is it for this video guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, take care and peace out.